In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of shaky aim in any FPS game. I will be explaining the many causes of shaky aim, and I will also give you a Kovacs playlist that should eliminate your shaky aim and make it as smooth as G2 Nikos. If you go on to enjoy the video or it helps you in any way, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Now let's get on with the video. So before we try to fix shaky aim, we have to try and identify the reason you have it. There are many reasons, but the main ones are your mouse sensitivity is too high, you're trying to recreate the aiming style of a really flicky player like 100 Thieves Asuna, or you get nervous and panic, which leads you to unstable aim with the mouse. So you may be asking, how do I get rid of my shaky aim? To get rid of it, you must improve your mouse control. Mouse control is the ability to move your mouse quickly and smoothly to the location you want it. And with this Kovacs playlist, it should improve your mouse control drastically. This playlist was created by Flux, and I will be leaving a link to his channel and the video he made in the description. This playlist is around 12 minutes long, and I would recommend playing it once before you get on your game of choice, and once after you get off. However, if you have more time, I would recommend playing it 2-3 to three times, but it's up to you and your schedule. To download this playlist, open Kovacs and go to the online playlist tab, and at the bottom where it says enter playlist share code, type Kovacs tagging brown prism, and it should show up. Smoothness Training 60 is a great scenario for someone with shaky aim because the target is so big, which allows you to focus on your shaky aim and not being precise. In these horizontal tracking scenarios where the bot has very predictable movements, you want to focus on keeping your crosshair as straight as possible instead of having it go up and down and all over the place. You want to keep your crosshair on a specific part of the target and try to lock it there while only moving horizontally. This will take some time, but that's why the target is so big, so you can hyper focus on this aspect of aiming. Smoothest Trainer is just like the previous scenario, except the target is moving around you and not just in front of you, which puts your arm and mouse in some uncomfortable positions. However, the more you aim in these awkward positions, the more you'll get used to them and won't be as shaky as before, because it'll be normal for you. Smoothie Wrist is where it starts to get a little more advanced. These scenarios are similar, but Smoothie Wrist has a really thin target, so now you have to focus on smoothing out your aim while also being extremely precise. If you're a beginner, you might want to stick to the first two scenarios and just practice those before heading to Smoothie Wrist. But if you do want to continue to play these harder scenarios, don't be discouraged by bad scores, and use those bad scores as motivation for improvement. Thin aiming long is just like smoothie wrist, except it also moves all around you, and not just in front. The targets also have less predictable strafe, so you have to be focused so you can make the adjustment to the next position. This task is more advanced and better version of smoothness trainer, and it was definitely my favorite scenario off the playlist. Smoothest Trainer Air is by far the hardest scenario on the playlist. You have to aim in even weirder positions and the target goes left, right, up, down, in the air, on the ground, and the strafes are a lot less predictable. You should focus on eliminating the unnecessary movements you make to get to the target. Look at this image. This is why you need to get rid of shaky aim and unnecessary movements. As you can see, the straight line is going to hit the target before the shaky line will, and that's because it's less time to travel. With the previous scenarios, you practice horizontal smoothness, but Smoothest Trainer Air makes you practice smoothness in every possible direction, and that's why it's a lot harder and better than the previous scenarios of the playlist. Smoothbot Invincible Goaded is like Smoothness Trainer Air, but it focuses a little more on horizontal smoothness. The strafes are a lot more predictable, but they add in jumps to throw off your smoothness so that you have to readjust to the target. I'm a big fan of Smoothbot scenarios in Kovacs, and this one is really fun and challenging. I would also recommend hiring your sense a bit in Kovacs if you're having a hard time tracking the target, because they go everywhere, and my 50 centimeter ass can't keep up with them without dragging my mouse across my whole desk. Finally, we have the best scenario on the playlist. Take every scenario and mix it all together with a small target and you have smooth spear. You are aiming in awkward positions while trying to be precise on a small target. You have to constantly adjust your crosshair because the target keeps changing speed and direction. You have to aim up, down, left, right in every degree possible, and that's what makes this task challenging and by far the best scenario on the playlist. If you end up not using this playlist, please add smooth spear or other variations of the scenario to whatever routine you're using and I promise you, you will see results. That's going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it or it helped you in any way, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.